happens if I start another instance of the AT core GUI on this Raspberry Pi? Try to print over here. Try to print to this lull spot, which will turn on. Okay, here's our new instance. Um, this is our target. Connect to it. Let me just clean up the GUI a little bit so that it fits nicely. Starting to move here with the I3. The lulls bot is not extruding as much plastic as it should. So we're gonna stop its print job and move its head up using the instance that's running on the Pi here. Uh, you can see that really didn't extrude nearly as much plastic as it should have. So we got both machines going again. There's the one instance. other instance, which is uh, this printer right here. <clears throat> this one's heating up. Here we go. The Mini is just starting its print. The i3 still appears to be printing just fine. Uh, I don't know if you can see the model in there. White on white isn't the best choice, I know, but it's what was in the machine. Uh, looks like it's doing spectacular. I3 is getting there, about a third of the way done. Let's see. And as you can see, our mini just started, just 1%. Not see how even. this is printing. Looks like it's coming out pretty good. We'll let these continue to run from this single Raspberry Pi. Uh, let's see how it goes. Further into our print here, let's see if we can see. It's looking. It looks pretty good. For some reason it's not focusing right on the camera, but the plastic looks good. Everything looks like it's getting good adhesion. Much better flow than when it was jammed before. <clears throat> this i3 has now entered the fill stage, so it's going to be going through layers pretty quick. But overall, it looks like we're printing good with these two instances from this one Raspberry Pi. Um, it's working out pretty well. 5% on our Mini. And our i3 is probably... Yeah, 45%. No issues with either machine. Both doing their thing. Both prints look like they're coming out okay. Both printers finished, we can now look at the models. The one on the left is the Lulzbot, and the one on the right is the i3. There's not much difference between them and ones that they've printed previously. Looking at the Cactors, I would say the test was successful and a Raspberry Pi can in fact run two instances of AT core with no noticeable difference in the quality of the prints.